What's up, this is Justin Fields, quarterback for the Chicago Bears, and these are my 10 essentials. My first essential is uh, the Bible app. Just kind of how I like to get my day started off. You know, I grew up you know, every Sunday going to church. Down in the city of Atlanta, you'd be in church for three, four hours, you know, ready to go home as a kid. But I do have one verse tattered on my chest, and it's uh, 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. My dad did not want me to get a tattoo, but this was his favorite verse. My next essential would have to be an acai bowl. I mean, I think if I had to choose, you know, one thing to eat for the rest of my life, this would, you know, definitely be in strong consideration. I eat these probably like five to six times a week. There's just one good spot near uh, where I live in Lake Forest, Illinois, it's called Lolo's Bowls. And I might be biased, but I think they have, you know, the best acai bowls in the country. Got to get strawberries, bananas, honey, uh, granola. I will sneak some blueberries in there, some coconut flakes, and then I usually put some protein powder in there. My next essential are headphones. So usually throughout the day, I'll listen to music a pretty good amount. I'll be singing everywhere, bro. As long as nobody parked next to me or at a red light to where they don't see me going crazy. A dream growing up was actually, uh, I wanted to be on American Idol growing up and I was in the chorus throughout middle school. So I might be biased, but I think I was, you know, the best singer in that you know, choir. I kind of listen to, you know, more slow tempo music rather than, you know, hip hop, I know. You know, most guys listen to that, but I'm, I'm more of kind of a laid back, chill guy, so I tend to listen to a lot of uh, R&B music. Gibeon, he's, he's, he's a good, uh, Brent, Fias, he's a good one. Summer Walker, uh, SZA, uh, LMA, like all of those, and of course the you know, mainstream uh, hip hop artists. And you know, being, me, me being from the South, I listen to country too a little bit, so uh, just to switch up the vibe, you know, every now and then I'll turn on some country music. We got Essential Water kind of hand in hand with the name. So we usually uh, weigh in and weigh out before and after practice. So uh, the scale that we have at the facility tells us, you know, how much, you know, liquid that we need to drink uh, to fulfill, you know, the body weight that we lost at practice. So I got a, a, a little cramping, cramping problems during the season. So, uh, you know, try to stay hydrated as much as possible. Some people say they can't taste water, but you can definitely taste water. Like you can tell, you know, high quality water from, you know, tap water from the sink. My next essential is uh, C4. Comes up clutch, you know, because we all know the NFL season's a long season, so you drink one of these and you're good to go. So uh, you know, I'm, I'm super big on health and stuff like that. So just the things they put in the, you know, in the drink, I, I think it allows me to perform at a high level and uh, get the most of my workouts. Sunglasses, it's really just a vibe, for real. Whether I'm driving around or just walking around or, you know, even out, I just throw the glasses on. I just feel like I'm in my own world, for real. So I think the rest of this interview, I'm gonna you know, keep the glasses on, but I don't know, I just in a different headspace with glasses on and people don't you know, see where you're looking. So that's another plus. So I grew up playing baseball, um, you know, really that age, 10, 11, 12, you want the Oakley glasses that, you know, the major leaguers are wearing and stuff like that. And then as I got older, I got, you know, kind of more into fashion. Um, you're really just switching up the glasses with, you know, the different fits you have and stuff like that. So these ones are St. Laurent glasses. So I have a, a good variety of glasses, but uh, these particular ones are St. Laurent. My next essential is, uh, you know, jewelry. I've, I've always had a cross chain, like just kind of a symbol of who I am. So this is a, a Rolex presidential uh, all gold watch, plain Jane. This is the first watch I got after entering the league. You know, I didn't want to get a little bust down watch or whatever. I wanted my watch to uh, appreciate, you know, as, as, as time went along. So kind of a, an investment piece. And it's just a little Cartier bracelet that I have right here. You know, I lose earrings way too much to be, um, buying real ones, I've, I've, I've tried to buy real ones and I've lost it. Straight from Amazon, boom, go and get y'all some. They, they shine just, just the same as real ones. So uh, I know, you know, a lot of jewelers aren't gonna like to hear this, but I'm, I'm cheap. So whoever is asking for the lowest price for the best jewelry, that's what I'm gonna go with. My next essential, of course, is football. It's my love right here. I've been playing football for a long time now since I was about five years old, I've always been a quarterback. It just taught me a lot of lessons on, you know, life. I think there's a lot of, you know, life lessons in the game of football, you know, when things might not be going your way or something like that. So, uh, you know, football's taught me a lot. Grew up playing football, I played baseball, basketball, and I ran track. And, you know, there's just nothing like football. And especially the high school that I went to, the environment that they would have, you know, just for Friday Night Lights, it would be crazy. So, um, you know, it was always the most exciting sport to me. I feel better going. Perfectly timed 
deep ball or run 75 yards for a touchdown? Um, if it was better with that, I would definitely have to say throwing the ball. But, you know, I think every now and then to, to get the crowd going and kind of keep the defense on the toes, you, you will have to break out that long run, uh, me being a dual threat quarterback. You know, I have a lot of great family members, a lot of people that support me, but, you know, I would have to say, the person that I look up to, to the most, um, the person that I always ask advice to is my dad. Every time something's heavy in my heart, I usually just give him a call and, you know, he gives me the best advice. Fada! John, boy! What's up with it? What's the word? Not much doing this little GQ interview. Say what's up to the people. You You're rocking in glasses, too. Look at it. I put my shades on, too. Yeah. For sure, but. Yeah, we roll, brother. Nah, I just wanted to uh, yeah. introduce you to the people, and uh, I was just talking about you a little bit, so. Okay, all right, tell everybody, say what's up, man. Yes, sir, will do. Love you. Uh, I'll see you. Love you, brother. All right. Bye. Family goes with, you know, my dog, too. My son, Uno. If y'all want to go check him out on IG, his uh, IG username is Uno Fields, U N O F I E L D S. Go get my man to follow, but he taught me patience. That's one thing he taught me. It took a long time for him to get potty trained and for him to be able to stay home. I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story. So one time I was gone probably three, four hours and he's petty. Like, he's, a, he's a real person, like he's, he's real to petty. So he was mad that we were gone for so long. He climbed up on the couch, on the counter, walked all the way to the stove and took a poop in the middle of the stove. I mean, I'm walking in the door I smell poop. I'm looking for it on the ground. I'm like, yo, I, I, I can't find it. And then my best friend's with me. He looks to the left, look at the stove, and I'll tell you it's a big dump on the stove, like right in the middle, like somebody put it there, like on purpose. I love him to death. It's, that's, that's my dog and um, literally my dog. But um, He's a big part of my life for sure. Appreciate y'all for watching. This is Justin Fields. Peace out.